So you must have seen a lot of spy movies. Yep, yep. Uh, do you want to give us a top three? What's the top Ooh, three? Oh, gosh, top three. Top three. Do I, do I start backwards? Or do I... <laughs> yeah, start backwards. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I, I think The Ipcris File is a great film. Lovely, scary, weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably then Three Days the Condor. Okay. And then Not seen that one. What's that about? Oh, well, that's, that's, that's Robert Redford. He is a CIA operative who gets betrayed. His entire unit are sort of murdered by people, and there's all sorts of things going on, and he's on the run, and um, there's this hitman after him. It's Sounds pretty great. cool. Pretty Sounds cool. like my normal yeah. life, my normal day. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a usual Wednesday for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm here today. I've just seen it, you know. <laughs> number one. What's number one? I really love Spy Game, Spy Game, which also has Robert Redford in it. And that's, that's uh, yeah. Why yeah. Spy Game? I think what's great about Spy Game, um, unlike a lot of spy movies, is actually it does do quite well in a very flashy way, kind of how espionage works. You know, it's about sort of working with other people, using other people to achieve your objective. Um, and also it kind of gives you a quick crash tour of like um, Vietnam, Berlin, and um and beirut which is places where the cia were operating in the sort of 70s 80s and, in, and the present and also it's kind of a really cool film about sort of this operative who's kind of going up against management and who doesn't love a film about somebody going up against management and outsmarting them you know it's always a nice feeling when you do manage to outsmart management isn't it so it's like <laughs> so, you know, uh, well, you better keep an eye out <laughs> Brad Pitt turned down Born Identity to be in that film. Did. He did, he did. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty mad, yeah. isn't it? I know, I know. But it's kind of weird to think of Matt Damon not being Jason Bourne. Mm. But then Richard Chamberlain was the original Jason Bourne. Was he? Yeah, in the TV movie. I which was made in the there 80s. A TV movie. There's a TV movie, The Bourne, Bourne Identity. So yeah, you should check it out. It's on YouTube. I watched it about, I watched it during the pandemic a couple of years ago. Yeah. It's okay, but it's pretty cool for its mm. time. Um, it's got, you know, it's got a nice 80s vibe again. Lovely. It's got a nice 90s, sort of that noir feeling, so. 